stupidville is when people do something that is stupid. Stupidville means you have chosen to take a village of people to be stupid. Stupid people know that they are doing something unlawful, and stupid people know that they are not necessarily doing something immoral in their minds. But if someone else is looking at it from a different side, they might be immoral. But the reality is, if the stupid person is doing something to harm someone, then they definitely are living in Stupidville. Because Stupidville says probably you and your immediate family knows you're doing it, probably you and your spouse are participating in it, and probably you and any extended siblings are aware of it. So what you've just done in Stupidville is put a whole bunch of people, including your family, as well as probably your friends, if they're stupid, into a problem in front of America. Do you, can you imagine what would happen if your little issue made the news? Could you imagine what would happen if the things you were doing hit the airwaves? Could you imagine if a media mogul comes into town and because you're so stupid, you don't even recognize her in her gown? But that's not the point. The point is that you do not have rights to another person's life, and yet you continue to do things that show you in front of everyone to be stupid. The only way to correct this issue is to stop. But stupid people often don't stop until they drop or get caught. I feel sad for stupid people because they choose malicious behavior, they choose molestation, they choose mutilation, they choose aiding and abetting rape, and they choose destroying someone's life because they're just plain stupid. But the thing that they miss most on is that while they're doing all this abuse around the community and with all their friends is that they are actually ruining their own life because they're using somebody to create a life which isn't theirs to have. And because it's not theirs to have, they will eventually get caught and they will eventually go to jail. But the question is, how long will they go there? It will be based on how many videos they've cut, how many computers they've ruined, and how many things they've done in someone's house that don't belong to them. 